All right, guys, it is a gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in St. Croix, Virgin Islands. We have made it to Saturday, March 5th, 2016. So Saturday is the day I bring you my clueless moron roundup rant where I go on the pages of the mainstream media, in this case Yahoo News, coming through the top 100 stories on the planet this beautiful Saturday morning to see how this planet's collective IQ is heading directly into the toilet. So Sancho Panza coming to join me on this rant. And good God, well, first, of course, I had to wade through all of the stories about... Well, what have we got? Whether Donald Trump or Marco Rubio's dick is bigger. Which one of them has the bigger dick? Uh, what else we got? Oh, yes. O.J. Simpson, some, what the hell is it, 30-year-old knife from O.J. Simpson. Don't forget, maybe five stories on a piece of a missing airplane. Actually, I'm going to, speaking of Donald Trump's dick and O.J. Simpson's knife, uh, let's see how Barack Obama uh, is weighing in on the, on the headlines today. <clears throat> President Obama calls latest O.J. Simpson news a, quote, spectacle on par with the 2016 election. <clears throat> After news, news broke on Friday that the LAPD was investigating a knife <clears throat> buried behind O.J. Simpson's estate, the story made major waves all the way to the White House, where President Barack Obama on Friday compared the hoopla over the knife to the ongoing 2016 presidential election calling both a spectacle. For once I am agreeing with Barack Obama if anybody should know about spectacle and hoopla it would be that guy. Uh, so what's, going, what's on the minds of my new Humpty Dumpty tribe hero, uh, this guy, is it Justin Trudeau, Prime Minister of Canada? What is he up to while Barack Obama talking about the spectacle of, of Marco Rubio and Donald Trump uh, fighting over the size of their dick and the O.J. Simpson knife? Trudeau? I, I love when uh, Associated Press cannot get through a headline without a typo. Trudeau say Americans should pay more attention to the world. And I'm sure Trudeau would also say editors at Yahoo News should pay more attention to headlines. Anyway, Trudeau says... Americans should pay more attention to the world. Prime Minister, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says Canadians would really appreciate it if Americans paid more attention to what is going on around the globe. Uh, quoting him from his 60 Minutes interview, quote, it might be nice if Americans paid a little more attention to the world, having a little more of an awareness of what is going on in the rest of the world, I think, is what many Canadians would hope for Americans. I think we sometimes like to think that Americans will pay attention to us from time to time, too. 
he said. Yes, we, we pay attention to Canada every time we want some more damn oil. But since these, uh, we invented, since Barack Obama invented fracking, we have no reason to pay any attention to Canada or the rest of the world. We have our own oil. So what does the rest of the world matter to us clueless morons? Fuck the rest of the world. Anyway, okay, what was the second biggest story on planet Earth this morning? The second, number two on the list of top 100 stories on planet Earth from Associated Press, musicians and media figures celebrate Murdoch Hall wedding. Rupert Murdoch, aged 84, and Jerry Hall, aged 59, celebrated their marriage Saturday alongside family members, media executives, and music stars in a church considered the spiritual home of British journalism. I guess among some 100 guests was Rolling Stone uh, member Bill, uh, former Rolling Stone member Bill Wyman, I guess uh, not attending Mick Jagger. Uh, Hall has four children with her ex-partner Mick Jagger while Murdoch has six children from three previous marriages. Mm -hmm. Ain't that sweet. Anyway, moving down the list uh, from the second most important story on the planet. I, I, I love this one. I, I was going to wait till my Wednesday climate change uh, meltdown around up. I'll, I'll have it again. You, you can figure out why this story is in my clueless moron <clears throat> roundup ramp. Revamped satellite data shows no pause in global warming. Climate change doubters may have lost one of their key talking points, a particular satellite temperature data set that had seemed to show no global warming for the past 18 years. The remote sensing system temperature data promoted by many who reject climate science and especially most recently by Senator Ted Cruz now shows a slight warming since 1998. Ground temperature measurements, which many scientists call more accurate, all show warming in the past 18 years. And the change resulted from an adjustment made to fix a nagging discrepancy in the data from these 15 satellites that are uh, coordinating the data better. <clears throat> this is Carl Mears, the scientist who runs the remote sensing system. Quote, there are people that like to claim there was no warming. They really can't claim that any more. Uh, let's see. I like this uh, comment from uh, Andrew Dessler, climate scientist at Texas A&M. Uh, the study refutes the idea of pausing global warming, he said, quote, but frankly, I'm sorry, this is University of Georgia meteorology professor Marshall Shepard. Stud the study refutes the idea of a pause in global warming, quote, but frankly, common sense and looking at how Earth 
was responding over the past 18 years kind of makes this finding a duh moment. This is another one of these climate scientists. Uh, I don't know what Cruz et al. will do now. I think it will be increasingly difficult for them to claim that the satellite data show no warming. Okay, and so then we go to the comments and take a wild guess, the very first comment to the story before we move on. Fall in line with Osama bin Laden. He wanted everyone to believe in global warming too. Kind of tells you all you need to know right there. Let's see. Explain to me why some of the hottest temperatures were recorded 100 years ago. Then it cooled down. Then we had the Dust Bowl. Then we were heading for an ice age in the 70s. Doom. Disaster. Hmm. That did not happen. Now it's global warming. But guess what? This too shall pass. Blah, blah, blah. And with about 500 more comments from clueless morons. Okay, from there to China, you know, which abandoned its one child policy last year, and they have now revised their growth trajectory upward as their new population forecast shows China's population to grow by 45 million by 2020. In the next four years, China expects its population to rise by 45 million. Almost the number of people in Spain said Saturday as it confronts a growing demographic crisis in the wake of the one-child policy. Gee, gee, gee. Moving along from China, next door, no clueless moron roundup rant would not be complete, and there were many versions of this story, this is Reuters, without going to North Korea, where we see North Korea leader orders military to be ready to use nuclear weapons at any time. North Korean leader Little Maggot ordered his country to be ready to use its nuclear weapons at any time and to turn its military posture to, quote, preemptive attack mode. Preemptive attack mode in the face of growing threats from its enemies, which is pretty much uh, anybody on the planet. Uh, North Korea on Thursday launched several missiles off its coast into the sea. Uh, in an apparent response to new sanctions imposed by the UN this week. There you go. This story will continue. Okay, from North Korea to Florida. Celine Dion slashes asking price of her Florida estate by 30 million dollars ahead of her Las Vegas move. Price has been slashed from 75 million to 45 million. Her five and a half acre property, uh, where is it? Probably somewhere around West Palm Beach because she needs to sell her house so she can buy another mansion in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. 
uh, because she needs to move to Vegas because of her commitment to her Caesars Palace residency. But you will get a lot for your money. Besides the main 10,000 square foot house, the grounds are also home to two four bedroom guest houses, tennis court, a golf range, and people who enjoy a quip dip or a longer swim might be pleased to note that Dion's property has three swimming pools and one even comes with a fire pit in the middle of it and another of the pools has a water park and a lazy river. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is Audi Automotive up to? And you'll have to figure out for yourself why this is in my Clueless Moron Roundup Rant. Audi to launch 20, 20 new models this year. Uh, Audi has made it official that it will launch at least 20 new or revised models in 2016 to strengthen its foothold in the ever-growing luxury market. So we have the Q7, we have the A4, we have the R8, we have the RS. Uh, and from their uh, SUV line, we have the Q2 and the Q5. But don't forget the A4, the S4, the A5, and the Q7, and of course, uh, the SQ7. And of course, uh, these models do not expect all of these new models to come to the Indian market. However, two of the, at least two of the models are on their way to India to help Audi India put up a stronger fight against Mercedes-Benz India and BMW India. Da, 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 da. Several stories on this one. This is AP's version. Killer who ate friend's brain is denied parole for the fifth time. If I can get my cursor to work here. An Ohio man who killed his roommate in 1978 and ate part of his brain has been denied parole a fifth time. Uh, this is David Allen Chapin is serving a life prison for shooting his longtime friend Donald Liming in the eye during a dispute over religion. Chapin was a Baptist. Liming said he was a Catholic, a Buddhist, and a pagan. So I guess three reasons that his lifelong friend shot him. Chapin told a court-ordered psychiatrist that he ate Liming's brain as part of a quote, mutual agreement between friends. A mutual agreement between friends. And uh, this last one, guys, I, I almost am tempted to sit here and read the entire story, but now I cannot get my cursor. Uh, okay, this one, a long, involved story. What happened when an East Coaster tried in and out for the first time? 
to those of us not fortunate enough, enough to live in these six states where it is available in and out is merely a legend to the lucky people who live near one of its 300 plus locations this place is seen as magical and has even been labeled heaven on earth so this is this woman from philadelphia heading to san francisco for uh the first time and her first stop in san francisco which i think has as many mom and pop you can eat at a mom and pop restaurant in san francisco every day breakfast lunch and dinner for a year no her first stop was in and out fast food joint i recently visited california for the first time and i was majorly hyped to have in and out on the agenda clearly if it's good enough for adele it's good enough for me okay so this goes on and on uh finally she gets it guys i'm skipping way ahead this would take me 30 minutes to read this story when she got our order wow it was beautiful the golden fries the burgers oozing with cheese and sauce i took my picture quickly and dove in and i wasn't super impressed it was good of course but after all the stories i had heard maybe my expectations were simply too high the bun was softer and fluffier than those of other fast food restaurants the lettuce was fresh and crisp the animal style cheeseburger was tasty and i did notice afterwards that i was not left feeling sluggish or bloated <clears throat> but my mind was not totally blown as i had hoped it would be i have no idea what this sentence means as i continued to dip my fries in my milkshake a new crowd of people began to hover over us waiting for a table vacancy so we tossed the rest of the fries and wandered the lovely streets of san francisco with what remained of the delicious chocolatey milkshake and uh, if you want to see the the photograph uh the photograph illustrating one of the 100 most important stories on the planet there are the beautiful golden fries the animal like cheeseburgers oozing cheese and the hand picked lettuce and of course if you didn't get the point of uh what this story is about here on the 100 top news stories on the planet i think that says it all uh, i guess i'm gonna have to miss cop helps girl put on pants after she called 9-11 uh boy and we'll just have to miss that one it goes on and on
Anyway, guys, all of that. Uh, oh, damn, I did meant to do this one, but I can't. Uh, I'm going to have to close here. Damn it. I, I saw this story a couple of days ago. Uh, people are losing their minds over these peeled oranges at Whole Foods. This was an article that Whole Foods, Whole Foods, based in Austin, Texas, you know, this is the Save the Planet Whole Foods. I've had many rants uh, on, on these goddamn lion sacks of shit. So what they've started doing this week, apparently, was pre-peeling oranges and putting them in these plastic containers. Anyway, but all of this talk about uh, oozing cheeseburgers and pre-packaged oranges are making me hungry. And uh, so we will have to wait to find out why Chloe Kardashian says plastic surgery is almost like makeup. We're all putting on a fucking mask. Take it from Chloe. She ought to know we are all putting on a fucking mask. But I'm going to go put on a ham and cheese sandwich since I don't eat hamburgers. I'm going to go eat me a little factory farmed pig here in the end time. Sancho Ponza, are you ready for a factory farmed pig or not? Anyway, Sancho Ponza does have his new Facebook page. He is the star of his own Facebook page, was made for him. So if you want to find more about Sancho, go on to Facebook.com to the new Sancho Panza Facebook page. But you turn your ear over and you're not going to be a, a international celebrity if you keep getting your ear flipped over. Bye, guys.